It was an emotional night there on campus after that big one over Marshall. Some 24 hours later, where are your emotions right now after making the program's first ever bowl game? Well, it's it's hard because now you're back in the office and you're watching Old Dominion film. So you get a chance for about mm, 16 hours to enjoy it and hopefully at least eight of it is sleeping. Uh, but it was, yeah, I mean, it was a really emotional night and a, a huge win for us, especially to be able to do it at home. It just makes it that much more special uh, on senior night. Uh, you know, in the pouring down rain. So I don't know if the elements were the way we wanted them to be, but uh, really special night for our program. What was it like to be on the field after that victory? Well, I mean, you still, until we caught the last touchdown, you know, you didn't really feel like you had the game in hand. Uh, and you're still making so many crucial decisions, you know, even in the last minute of the game. Uh, so when, when the clock finally hit zero, it's just, there's some relief, you know. Uh, there's definitely some excitement in that I wonder what's going to happen next. I wonder if the crowd is going to storm the field. I wonder, you know, uh, what Club Lit will be like. And, and uh, then you get a chance to kind of take a deep breath and enjoy it. So uh, a lot of fun to be with those fans on the field who have been so good to us all year long. All right. Well, that was a defining moment, defining image. And then we get one after the game. Club Lit was yeah. on another level. Yes, you were was. on another level. Yes, it was. When did you decide to put the Norm the Niner head on after oh, this win? I felt like I had to do something different. You know, that was a special win. First time in school history to go to be bowl eligible and uh, beating a team that was playing for a conference championship. And at home on senior day, I thought, you better bring your best. And so uh, I went a little Lee Corso style, had some, uh, you know, had the, had the mascot head on, found somebody who could, who could find Norm. And uh, I, a lot of our guys, when I walked in and had just the head on uh, and I still had my shirt on, they were like, this can't be Coach Healy because he's still got a shirt on. And so I took my shirt off and and then uh, you know when I threw the uh, the norm head off it was uh, it, it definitely got crazy in there so really cool experience and uh, I wanted to make sure that that Lee Corso had something to shoot for for people who might not understand just what a bowl game means to a program, what does the first bowl game mean to this Charlotte program coming in year one for you? Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's been a goal for our program since we got into Conference USA five years ago. Um, you know, the, just to be able to extend your season is a big deal so we can get some extra practices, but the national exposure you get by by going to a bowl game is is really, really cool. And, and for me, it's really exciting that I get a chance to take our staff and our families on a trip like that and, and roll out the red carpet wherever they decide to put us uh, and do it the right way for a staff that, that uh, has a really good relationship for a group of families uh, that have a really good relationship and, and uh, treating them the right way. You know, I, I think that for our players to be able to have an experience uh, that they'll always remember and be treated in a first class manner uh, is really important to me and it should become an expectation in our place. Again, I say let's move from bowl expectations to conference championship expectations and win bowl games instead of just go to bowl games. Uh, and so, you know, we, we're starting to establish that. We're not where we need to be, but last night was a big step forward. All right. Well, now you're in the position where it's not just let's go to a bowl game. Let's which one do we want to go to? Any preference on, on this road trip in a couple weeks? Any of them that let us keep playing. Um, you know, I, I think that there's a bunch of options. Uh, I know it's up to you know the bowls and and the conference commissioner to decide where we go but just the fact of uh of knowing that we're going somewhere is is really special anywhere club lit can travel i guess too right? club i lit, guess you can take it anywhere club lit will travel everywhere uh right. yeah so we've we've only been able to do it once on the road uh so we're fighting our rear end off to make sure we can do it again in old dominion all right can't wait coach good luck at odu congrats on a bowl game in year one for will healy and the charlotte 49ers